gonna have to purchase some new helmets. Every year you got helmets that you need to purchase and uh, the some that get rejected when you take them back for reconditioning. Uh, I think we ended up with maybe 12 or 13 or so that we were gonna have to um, purchase. So myself and the offense coordinator, we kind of got together and, and got this proposal together uh, and, and started talking with Rydell, uh, the sales rep there. And uh, we got this proposal together of what it would actually cost to replace them all and uh, get everybody in, in, in a level five, according to the Virginia Tech study helmet. And um, so we went to the board, uh, we showed them that, and the Rydell came back. You know, also and said listen we have this insight program that we'd really like you guys to look into um, and the board jumped all over it when we presented it to them and uh, they approved it and that's kind of how it got started you know going from there for as far as getting the helmets and of course then all of our helmets that we had are now at the middle school so now they're playing with a little bit better helmet at the middle school than, than your I guess your typical youth helmet um, down there so they got those which were which were good helmets and um, we ended up with these. Uh, the Insight program has been a really good tool for us so far, as far as the trainer getting the alerts immediately on the sideline or at practice. Uh, it takes all the guessing work out as far as you having to watch it visibly and see every play and watch every person, which is pretty hard to do. A lot of teams have uh, spotters up top that are looking for people with hard hits and see if they stumble. Well, that eliminates that. Uh, for us because it's in a handheld uh, that the trainer keeps and when she's not here I keep on myself and it it, uh, it will alert you it beeps and lets you know it'll say the person's name um, and the time that it happened um, now it's not going to show you any more details but it will let you know that you may need to go check that kid out and it's only going to alert you based off of a high level uh, magnitude hit um, and how they get those it's, it's, it's over I think they said 13 million, 14 million hits that these guys, Rodell, they're tracking. Um, so all the information that we get gets sent to Rodell. All the information that all the inside helmets over, over the country gets sent back to them. So it's a really in-depth program. Um, it's posi position specific. Um, it can go so... Your cornerbacks and running backs are going to take different impacts in a game. So when you label them a cornerback or running back, and this is something we learned the last time, so if you have that guy that's a dual threat player, like we have some that play both sides, cornerback, running back, you want to you want to put them there with the ones that take, according to the studies, the highest impacts or the most impacts. So a running back's probably going to take more impacts than a cornerback. So if you have a running back and his first position is cornerback, then he's going to register high-level impacts more because it's saying it's compared against all cornerbacks or all the hits that cornerbacks have taken. So if you put him as a running back, then that's going to not increase the impact, but the intensity because it does intensity, volume, and, and single impacts also uh, on this program. So it's just been a very good tool for us as far as when we sit down and we look at the dashboard on the on, on the website and it lets you know uh, the level of impact the volume say during uh, we start practice at four and so we do inside at 4 30 then you're going to have a level more impacts so you just want to watch it it's going to tell you how many impacts you have uh, if one kid's taking uh, you know 70 impacts a day that's not good and it's going to alert you that and let you know so it helps you prepare uh, practice a little bit better too and, and making sure you're staying under the norm because everything's compared to all these test numbers that are sent from all over the country uh, not only that it helps Rydell also with having these sensors in the helmets and then it, then in turn they can make a better helmet for the players in the future. Uh, maybe it get maybe uh, position specific as far as what helmets running backs wear, linebackers as far as the types of different hits each position take. So you think this is going to be the future of trying to monitor? Oh, there's no doubt, and I think this is just uh, the start of it. To be honest with you, um, I think it's. I hope it. You know, I hope it don't get like laptops and computers and cell phones and everything. When you every year, you know, but and it may be because uh, you don't. The concussions is on the forefront. Everybody knows that, and we want to protect this game because it's a great game. And and I'll argue with anybody that, that tells me it's not. Uh, I just not only because I coach it, it's because it teaches you so many things and athletics in general. But being part of a team, especially football, uh, the demands that we put on these kids is preparing them for life. And we don't want to lose that because 
this, the studies of concussions and, and even that, I mean, people are studying it, but there's, I mean, obviously they're bad for you, but there's no concrete evidence. It seems like it's changing up and down, but it's definitely a good thing to be on the, on the front lines of uh, prevention if you can be. And I, I think there's no doubt that this is just a start. You know, I think there's other helmet manufacturers out there now that have some things in their chin straps, and of course, one's going to try to outdo the other one. But but why not? I mean, competition's a good thing, and and I hope from all of this, you know, the other ones get on board and try to make a better helmet, and then continue to get better and better every year as they go. And not only that, to make it more affordable too, uh, for 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 um, high schools and colleges and the pros. Uh, how expensive? Is it expensive? Is it expensive? Well, the helmets are pretty expensive in their self. Uh, this is a Speed Flex helmet, <clears throat> which is Rydell's. Rydell has a helmet that's called Precision Fit. It's the same exact Speed Flex helmet, but they come out and actually take a mold of your head. So you can imagine what the cost of that is. Um, and that's their top of the line, but it's the same Speed Flex shell. Um, so what this is, is I don't want to necessarily say a step under, but it is as far as molding to your head. Uh, the bottom line calls for these things are probably anywhere from $400 to a little under. Uh, but, you know, obviously, it's, like anything else, you buy a lot of them, they're going to cut you a deal. Um, I can't remember the exact price per helmet for these. Um, but to get the Insight system in there was roughly about $78 more per helmet. So, you know, considering what it does, <clears throat> considering the research that you're getting off of it, considering how we use it, I believe it's worth it, no doubt. If I, I believe Walford may be the only other one in the upstate that's doing it. Um, as far as all out, full team usage of it. Now they are some more in the state. Uh, I think there's some in the lower state, uh, the rep was telling me, but um, they are some more in the state. And of course there's some across the country that do it. But just in this area, y'all are the only? This area, we're the only school that, that uh, that every player on the varsity level has. Kind of technology, how do you evaluate these? You don't, what tools do you have to see what kind of hits they've taken? Without this, now you're gonna look, you'll go back to having a spotter or, or you're relying on your trainer. Um, now you won't be able to measure the amount, the intensity and location and all the things I just showed you on there, but you'll still be able to monitor them and you know if they've took, just use your common sense to see uh, whether it be the trainer or a spotter up top to see if these guys took a high level impact and and plus you're going to rely on your coaches a good bit with the relationship that they have with the players communicating with them and, and knowing if something's off with them if they're not seeming their self and then get them get them checked by the trainer as soon as possible um, so it wouldn't be the end of all if you didn't have this system or you don't have this system although it is a very good one to have you'd still be able to, to do it, uh, just made, you wouldn't have that immediate uh, response to it as far as what you would with this system. Coaches take this very seriously. I think a lot of people don't realize how seriously y'all take, particularly high school coaches, you know, the, the safety and health of your players. Mm -hmm. um, what other things do y'all do to make sure your players are? Well, I mean, at practice, you know, we constantly give them well, I won't say constantly, but we give them enough water breaks. We give them, we kind of do things a little different. I mean, we go high impact or not necessarily high impact, but high intensity. And the next one will be a, a, be a scale back down and then you water break and then pick it back up. So we make sure we monitor them, um, their physical condition also during practice. Um, we also try to, we try to feed them and make sure they got enough nutrition. You know, we feed our guys before practice every day, whether it's granola bar, snacks, or something, because a lot of times these kids are just not eating healthy and not eating what they need for their body to sustain a hard time practicing. And, uh, so we try to do everything we can as professionals and adults uh, to take care of these kids, uh, their physical condition, mental condition, everything we can control, we try to control, because you, you, you rely on some 15 to 18 year old kids, it's just not gonna happen. Football is evolving. Programs at every level are in a constant pursuit of ways to practice and play smarter. And as football moves toward a more data-driven game, Riddell is leading the way to a stronger future through innovative smart helmet technology. Riddell is the only helmet manufacturer to deliver innovation with protective equipment that also analyzes and collects data from the field of play. In 2004, as the pioneer in smart football helmets, Riddell launched the Sideline Response System, 
an advanced tool used by researchers to collect robust head impact data. In 2013, the Insight Impact Response System was born and has since become the leading impact monitoring system in football. Insight wirelessly alerts the sideline to impacts that exceed advanced head impact exposure metric thresholds. The next step on Riddell's innovation roadmap is the Riddell Insight Training Tool, or ITT. ITT uses a sabermetric approach to athlete protection. It is a web-based data center that builds player impact profiles, rich with information that a coach may use to identify opportunities to proactively influence player behavior through training techniques and practice plans. A core feature of the Insight Training Tool is the Practice Planner, which helps create practice schedules and project levels of contact for specific drills or time periods by player position group or activity, giving coaches a greater understanding of when athletes may experience periods of head impact exposure. ITT's impact analytics allow multiple staff members to collaborate online, at home, or on the road to monitor and review impact profiles for groups or individuals by drill and level of contact. The Insight Training Opportunities feature monitors and learns player behaviors and flags specific head impact trends. Individual data profiles are compared to national and team averages, specific to skill level and position, and compares each individual player's current impact profile to their own recent history. ITT is a truly smart football helmet platform backed by millions of on-field impacts going back more than a decade. ITT uses inside equipped smart helmets to not only monitor and alert the sideline to significant impacts, but also to collect, consolidate, and analyze nearly every head impact to learn and track specific behaviors by player, unit, or team. ITT and its features are designed for smarter practice, smarter play, and for coaches that are in constant pursuit of both. As football evolves toward a smarter, more intelligent game, the Riddell Insight Training Tool provides next-level intelligence to staffs as they strive to teach and play smarter football and ultimately lead football to a stronger future.